hey guys welcome back and in this video we're gonna take a look at something which happened yesterday that is the launch of github package registry which was launched yesterday in public beta from github so what this thing does is that it's pretty cool it's actually you can think of this similar to npm just not on the command line just as a registry now what happens if you are not aware about it is for example whenever you do like npm install express right or npm install any other package like pm2 so what you're doing is you're essentially fetching a piece of code from something known as a registry which by default points to the registry of your npm js itself right which created npm the package manager but yesterday github announced that they are creating in fact they have already launched it their own registry um their own package registry right which essentially means now whatever code you do you publish it on github and you can create a package out of it right away on github itself right so what we can do right now it's still in beta we don't have a lot of packages up yet but we're gonna see that as the beta invites are getting accepted and developers are putting packages i've also applied for the beta and uh, if you're interested in putting up some packages on github you should apply for it too so for now i could just pretty much go ahead and say javascript and i could go with packages you could see that we just have four packages which match with this javascript keyword which is not a lot right so what we could see is uh, like if i go to this log fmt2 which uh, i'm not sure this guy created right so this he might have got actually access to the private beta you can see that it's recent version is five hours ago so you see that it's pretty much similar to what you would expect on npm js site and oh boy npm sites has changed for a lot the last time i saw it so, okay anyway let's just search for express right there we go so if we compare you're gonna see that github is kind of like hosting in a similar fashion how um npm js would contain right here's your readme then you have a little bit of instruction weekly downloads with a nice little weekly chart version information open issues pull request all this is fetched from github which is the repository url but now github has this built-in registry which contains all this information by default right the recent version the sizes and tags and all that stuff and this is also like the readme you can either configure it yourself for the package or you know just make a custom one the good thing is that you could keep your package and your source code pretty close so you see that if i click on this it's going to take me to the repository of which this package is made of right so you see right now i'm at this particular url but if i go back i'm gonna get to this url slash packages slash some sort of id or whatever i'm not really sure what this is and you get to that package and here are your install instructions and uh, yeah you should be good to go now again because this is not hosted on the npm registry you have to first of all log in into npm using the github registry which i'm gonna cover on later on how do we set up all that good stuff once we get more and more packages on github and we have something meaningful to do but for now it's pretty cool yeah i think github has made a good amount of progress in here just not for the npm github has launched um these uh, package repositories in uh, a lot of other fields as well for example you we have like docker uh, people are also ex uh, requesting for the package repositories for uh, i guess uh, cargo but uh, let's see github is not really has not really uh, promised any more repositories as of now but they are saying that they are going to add it pretty soon i think they list it as well somewhere yeah so we have npm docker maven NuGet, and ruby gems as of now right so you can also see how you can have to exactly do it you have to log in into registry and set it to github registry right and pretty much after that you have to just do a bunch of other stuff to get your read or write access tokens and then you can start downloading the packages and stuff right it's pretty cool so yeah that's pretty much it for the basic 
overview of what GitHub package registry, not really repository, sorry, it's a registry. GitHub package registry is going to do. And uh, yeah, that's all for this one. I'll see you then in some other video. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button if you like this video.